In the novel and New York Times best-selling author Stuart Gibbs's Fun Jungle series, Teddy Fitzroy returns as Fun Jungle's resident sleuth to solve his most improbable mystery yet with a victim that's 65 million years old. Today, I will be reviewing the sixth book in the Fun Jungle series, which is called Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you want to find out more about this thrilling and suspenseful book, then stay tuned. A Welcome back to NB Station everyone. These books in the Fun Jungle series are all set in the hill country of Texas and mostly take place inside Fun Jungle itself. Fun Jungle is a combination of a zoo and an amusement park. This book actually spends very little time in the park and instead takes place in the nearby area. Our main character is Teddy Fitzroy. Both of his parents work at Fun Jungle, so that gives him free reign most of the time. And that has gotten him involved in a few mysteries. So when his friend Sage is in trouble, he naturally turns to Teddy for help. Teddy has just apprehended the zebra spanker when his friend Sage Bonotto asks him to investigate the disappearance of his Tyrannosaurus Rex. A team from a local university has come in and started excavating the area to uncover the entire skeleton. But the next morning, right after a huge rainstorm, the skull is gone. The skull of Minerva, which is what they named the T-Rex, weighed over 500 pounds. The thieves should have left some trace, but it turns out they haven't. Even worse, the local police think that it's a hoax, so that's why Sage asked Teddy to investigate. While Teddy is at the scene of the crime, he gets a call from the twin school bullies, Tim and Jim Barksdale. Well, Jim asks Teddy if he can use the Heimlich maneuver on a snake that has eaten a cat. It turns out that Tim and Jim have illegally purchased an anaconda that has eaten their cat Griselda. Well, after Teddy investigates, he finds out that Tim and Jim have bought the snake from Snakes Alive, which is a new zoo that is trying to take business from Fun Jungle. Their signs say stuff like more fun than Fun Jungle and a whole lot cheaper. As Teddy learns more about the two cases, things get more and more complicated. As you can tell, there are a lot of things going on in this book. Both plots share focus, weaving in and out and dividing Teddy's attention. Fortunately, Teddy is up to the challenge and brings both cases to a great climax. I felt rather foolish for not picking up on the clues early on, but once Teddy pieces them together at the end, it makes perfect sense. And make no mistake about it, Teddy and his friends faced danger. There were so many scenes that had me on the edge of my seat turning the pages as quickly as I could. Teddy is surrounded by a great cast of characters as always. Any new characters you meet in this book are just as enjoyable. And I was laughing at some of the situations Teddy was put in and the various characters' reactions to those events. It certainly helps if you already know the characters before reading this book, but you can easily pick this book up and enjoy it without that background. This is a really good book for people who like to read about animals and mysteries. There are a lot of people you could suspect and the thief is someone I would not have suspected. The characters are very well written and the plot includes a very interesting mystery. At the end of this book, Stuart Gibbs has some notes about one of the main topics in this book, which is animal trafficking. Stuart Gibbs does this in all of the Fun Jungle books and I think it really helps the reader connect the book to real life. Now that's all for today's book review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Envy Station. That's all for today. Keep reading, keep coding, and stay safe.